Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie and I'm mainly doing reviews on perfumes. In this video I want to do a top 5 fall and winter perfumes for women. And in my following video I will also do a top 5 for men. And having the same perfume year in, year out, it can be a little bit boring. And of course I was looking for something new, something better. Try to keep an open mind and give perfumes a chance even though I may not be so much into them in the beginning. Maybe they grow after a while or some perfumes you just love in the beginning and then just simply not reach out for them anymore. Okay, let's start. Normally I'm not putting them in any specific order, neither will I in this video, but I will at least start with my favorite one, and that's Dior's Hypnotic Poison. I mentioned this perfume so many times in my other videos over the years. Uh, this is my absolute favorite perfume for winter and fall. It's so cozy, it's very seductive. I think this is the perfect date night perfume. From the feminine florals, it does have some florals like jasmine and lily of the valley. It still has the sweetness and the smoothness from the almonds and the vanilla. In spite of being so classic because it's been out there for so many years, it's so feminine, it's so sexy and seductive. So this is my absolutely favorite perfume in winter time. Next one is the newest one in my collection. I got it from my boyfriend for my birthday. I must give him the credit that he had the guts to buy me a perfume because I'm so critical when it comes to perfumes. I have a channel based on perfume. Really risky of him, but God, he really nailed it. I liked it immediately. But I didn't want to have feelings involved because it was a present from him. So I've been using it on a daily basis for work. I need to leave the personal and emotional values away from this review. Yes, it is as gorgeous as I initially thought it was. Second on my list is Bon Bon from Victor and Rolf. My first fear would be that this would be a very generic sweet vanilla like uh, Black Opium, Label, good girl and this kind of perfume. This one has peach and mandarin instead of pear and instead of the vanilla, may I point this out, instead of vanilla it has caramel and I do prefer the caramel. It has a lot of wood in the base, it has peach and mandarin and then it has middle notes of caramel, tonka and also jasmine which I really adore. I definitely would choose this one over black opium and la belle. On number three we have Tom Force Lost Cherry and this one is not complicated at all but you do have to like cherry and almond to like this perfume. It's sweet and cozy and it also has a touch of florals, plum and liquors. Definitely the prominent notes here are cherry and the sweetness from the almond. This can after a while be a bit overwhelming because it's really sweet and you do get a lot of cherry. So maybe you want to reach out for it every day, but yet for certain occasions and for winter time, I think this is a beautiful scent. Number four, Guerlain Spiritus Double Vanille. This is a very caramelized vanilla, uh, so you really need to like vanilla to like this perfume. It does have this caramelized, sugary kind of feeling, so it's a more beautiful, smooth and warm vanilla uh, and it also has a bit of floral. More seductive, warm, intimate, like a close encounter perfume. If you like it sweet, you have this better version of vanilla thanks to this uh, caramel floral sensation, I would say. So yeah, that was Spiritus Double Vanille. For number five we have another vanilla perfume and that's Kayali Vanilla 28 and that's one of my absolutely favorite vanilla perfumes. Uh, as you can see by the title it's dominated by vanilla but it also has a lot of amber. Mm -hmm. Here are vanilla flower, tonka bean and brown sugar. I think these notes are the three ones that gives the vanilla vibe uh, but then it has uh, amber and jasmine and some wood in the base. So if you want a more special, different kind of vanilla, I can really recommend Kajali's Vanilla 28. So these were my top five, but I also have some honorable mentions. And as I started my channel a couple of years ago, for you who follow me, you know I also like this perfume. It's Coco Mademoiselle Eau Intense. Beware that that's Eau Intense. 
and uh, because this one has vanilla added. It is like many of the Chanel perfumes, floral and powdery, but it also has lots of vanilla. So this one is definitely one of my favorite Chanel perfumes and really nice in winter time. Another honorable mention here is Candy from Prada, which is very powdery. So it's very typical Prada with the iris and the powdery vibes. But uh, yet you have this caramel and vanilla and some musk and it's a different kind of sweetness because it's so powdery. It has good lasting power and it's different than the other sweet fragrances out there. One of the thing recently in my videos when I integrate some other things I do in life uh, to make these channels a little bit more fun and, and for you subscribers to get to know me a little bit better. My other passion in life is chocolate and last week I was in Mallorca so I have some clips here from the Mallorca trip. The chocolate of the day will be from Toblerone, which is a mountain in Switzerland. And as you can see by the design, it's mountain tops. And my favorites here are the original one and the purple one with the fruits. This time I tried the one with orange, uh, which I really like. However, if you're into orange, I can really recommend the Swedish Marabou Appelsin Krokant uh, the orange there is so nice integrated with the chocolate it's such a nice mix and crunchy it's crispy and it has this typical Marabou chocolate oh, it's just amazing so if you like orange go for the Appelsin Krokant uh, but if you like Toblerone my favorite are the original and with that said, I hope you enjoy the perfumes and the chocolate and I hope to see you very soon again in another video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.